Good morning and welcome back to Drive Driver Driven and the uh, Blue Unicorn Ultima Evolution build. Uh, today we're going to do a little body work and uh, we're going to install some optional uh, brake ducts or side pod ducts or wheel ducts, however you want to call them. Uh, but uh, what they're for is to uh, kind of relieve some of the air pressure that happens around the front wheels. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So what we're dealing with is this area here right behind uh, the front wheel. And this is going to be very, very close quarters. So the, the back of the wheel is almost even with this part of the body. And right here you can see it's all blanked off. And on this side uh, we have the mold, but nothing has been cut out yet. Let me get this out of here. And this is what the duct looks like and it'll kind of fit in there like so actually that's backwards it'll fit in this is the side we'll be looking at from here and then from the front it'll kind of look something like that it'll fit in there so what we have to do is cut out the opening for this vent and we have some templates, which I have right over here, that the factory provides. And uh, we're gonna cut a really big hole in this nice panel from the factory on the side pod. And then once this uh, vent is in, then we can do a final treatment here on the inside to uh, put some of the sound deadening slash undercoat to protect the fiberglass. Um, we will treat uh, the underside of the fuel tank to, uh, basically there's some foam strips which keep some rocks from getting down underneath the tank and uh, putting holes in it. And we will treat this uh, large backside area with some more of the undercoat to protect it. Um, and we'll do that for each side, and once that's done, we can finally permanently attach the side pods to each side of the car. And then after that, we can put the car on the ground and finally get rid of these trestles that it's been sitting on for a couple months. So, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is a little bit of work to go through, and we'll see how much we can get done today. So let's get to it. So we have our front wheel arch vents in and these are the grills for the side pods they mount in from the back side. I'm using some uh, paint sticks and some zip ties to uh, kind of pull it into place and then I'm going to use uh, some of the bond in seal to stick this down around the edges and we're going to let that sit and cure but I wanted to show a quick update of 
what these look like from the back. You can see they kind of has this uh, flange that goes around the vent from the back side. I'll pull this one off so we can see. You can see the cuts that were made, the template that I had done, and it goes all the way through. And you can see there's quite a bit of material left that you can rivet down. So, get that back into place. And just like that, it's back into place. And when I do the sealant for the side pods, uh, we'll do some sealant here and get these sealed up and bonded into the side pods. And then as soon as it's cured, uh, we'll be uh, done with the side pods here. Um, there's a couple things left, but then we can put them on the car permanent. All right, so here we are with the radiator and now the condenser in place. Uh, this is actually final mounted. And I'll show you some of the gotchas I ran into. So um, on other Ultimas, there is a radiator support that goes here, comes across, that this tab rests on top of. But because I have the uh, AC condenser and I've relocated it to the front here in front of the radiator, um, it interfered with the mount as you can see here. Uh, so what I had to do is uh, remove these mounts and then put the radiator mount up top and then put the condenser up underneath it. And there is just a very small gap as you can see all the way down, but everything clears like it's supposed to. And with these radiator side panels, um, I had to cut a hole so that the fittings could pass through. So those all line up and they sit like they're supposed to. As you can see, there's a little gap here and there's one on the other side too. And I'll probably close that up with some uh, aluminum tape on the front just to make sure that no air can pass through on this side of the panel to force everything to go through the radiator. Um, other than that, um, Temperature sensor for the dash here. There's going to be two of these sensors. Uh, all of the uh, plumbing is run with the uh, silicone lines. Uh, this is the uh, steam vent or a, a kind of a bleed line for the top of the radiator to make sure that no air bubbles sit at the highest point of it. And then the uh, two fans. Uh, the well, I can't really see it well, but there's a grommet here that the uh, two fans pass through. Uh, this panel uh, is a new panel that uh, Sean fabbed up while he was here yesterday. And basically this is to uh, encourage the airflow off of the back of the radiator to either come out of the hood exit or to go around and out through these holes into the wheel wells. Uh, and that's uh, to keep it out of this area really and to keep it from blowing into the cabin area because you can see there's little gaps here that I still need to close off. But this goes uh, quite far in reducing the, the temperature of hot air from the radiator hitting the front bulkhead area, uh, or the front bulkhead area um, and, and keeping the cabin just that much cooler. Um, let's see. Any kind of gotchas that I ran into. Um, so this is an aftermarket radiator from CNR. In my application, this works, but in the drawing, this temperature sender uh, is too high. And in a normal Ultima application, this sensor should be moved down probably about an inch to two inches, um, just so that it would clear the factory mount uh, if you chose to use those. Otherwise, this interferes with the factory mount and you'll have to plug this and you can't use it to actually trigger your radiator fans. Um, other than that, the 
fan mounting also from CNR. Um, I okayed the drawing, which is this is my fault. So I, I okayed the drawing because I didn't I didn't know that this wouldn't clear the uh, hood exit or the, the front clamshell exit. So if the fans use these pegs, the whole fan sits over to the side and it does not clear the edge of the uh, the, the the hood vent. So uh, I chose to mount the fans through using these uh, kind of plastic uh, fingers that go through the actual radiator core, which is how most fans are mounted nowadays after market. And then I pushed both fans uh, together towards the inside and now they clear just fine and I don't need to trim the hood uh, and uh, even the backs of the fans uh, clear the hood fine. So uh, that's uh, a win for me. I'll, I'll call that a win. Um, the other gotcha that I found was once we put the radiator in place, we discovered that this uh, lower A-arm bolt was backwards. This is the correct orientation where the bolt comes in from the right side and goes through to the left and the nut is on the left side. We had it the other way around and then that made it so you couldn't actually remove the bolt which makes uh, doing an alignment basically impossible. So. Uh, just something to think about uh, when you're putting your Ultima together. Uh, and it's like that on both sides, if you can see. So here's the other side. I had to swap that one around as well. So that's the uh, front all said and done, basically. Um, got the uh, tow hook on here. Uh, I didn't want to wait for the uh, factory to send a uh, factory tow hook because it wasn't included with my kit. So I just picked up, I believe this is a, an OMP, um, just a yellow tow hook. It's a good contrast color against the blue car. And uh, 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 it's you know rated for basically motorsports use. I figured that was good enough for, for me. And it just bolts straight through the floor and down underneath you can see there. Uh, and that should be more than enough to hold the weight of the car.